Hello guys, it's me, Sir Yabs TV. So this time, let's try to solve or explain arithmetic series. Okay, so arithmetic series is the sum of all terms of an arithmetic sequence. So these are the formula. So, formula number 1, S sub n is equal to n over 2 times A sub 1 plus A over n. So this is just good for finite sequence. Okay, so finite sequence, alam natin na yun yung, ano yung value ng last term at saka first term. Okay, so n stands for nth term, a sub 1 stands for the first term, and a sub n stands for the last term. Okay, formula number 2, s sub n equals n over 2 times 2 a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So this is good for infinite sequence. So... Infinite sequence, hindi natin alam yung value ng last term, okay? So, yung n stands for the nth term of that infinite sequence or infinite sequence. Then, a sub 1 is uh, first term. Then, d is a common difference, okay, of that sequence. Okay, let's try example number 1. Find the sum of the arithmetic sequence 3, 8, 13, 18, 23, and 28. So, this is just finite sequence because we don't see any uh, series of three dots at the end. So, the first term is 3 and the last term is 28. So, uh, we are using the formula, formula number 1. Okay? So, S sub n equals n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. Then... The formula requires n. So, si n dyan, yan yung uh, term ng ating last term. Okay? Term ng ating last value. Okay? So, si 28. Then, okay? So, i-count lang natin para malaman natin kung ano yung value ng n. So, that is the nth term. So, ika-6 na value si 28. Then, we have a sub 1. a sub 1 is the first term of that sequence. And a sub n is the value of our sixth term. Okay? So, try natin kung ano yung sum ng sequence na yan. So, we are good. So, let's try to solve na. Then, so s sub 6 equals, our n is 6 over 2 times a sub 1 is the first term, so 3 plus a sub n is the value of our n term. So therefore, 28. Then, let's simplify. So therefore, 6 divide 2, so pwede na siyang simplify. So 6 divide 2, okay, so the result is 3. Then, times 3 plus 28, so the result is 31. Okay, so 3 times 31, so rewriting again, the S sub 6 equals or sum of the 6 terms, okay, all, or, all terms. So we have 3 times 31 is 93, so the sum of this arithmetic sequence, 3, 8 up to 28. Okay, so kahit na i-check nyo yan, base sa 3 plus 8 plus 13, okay yan, okay. Now example number 2. So, this example number 2 is uh, more, more uh, solutions than number 1. So, find the sum of the first terms of the arithmetic sequence 4, 7, 10, and 13. So, now, we see a series of 3 dots. So, that, that means infinite sequence siya. So, belongs sa, sa infinite sequence. Okay? Hindi natin alam yung exact value ng uh, last term. But, we have a first term, 4. So, we have to use the number 2 formula. Okay, so the number 2 formula is S sub n equals n over 2 times 2 ta uh, two a sub 1 plus n minus 1, okay, times d. So that is the formula. So therefore, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin pag infinite sequence yung problem. Okay, so this formula requires n. So, n stands for the nth term. Okay? So, the nth term, meaning uh, lahat ng term. 
Okay? So, lahat ng term. By the use of that problem, 30 terms. So, siya yung N natin. Okay? So, our N is 30. Then, A sub 1. So, basically, the first term. So, we have 4. Then, our D. So, D is the common difference. So, how to find the common difference of that sequence? So, 13 minus 10 equals 3. Then, 10 minus 10. 7 equals 3 again. Then, 7 minus 4 equals 3. So, the common difference is 3. So, we are good. So, all that requirements satisfy to our formula. So, therefore, rewriting the formula, S sub N equals N is equal to 30. So, substitute lang dyan. Okay? N again is 30 divided by 2. Then, multiply natin sa 2 times A. 2 times A sub 1 is 4. Plus, again, our N is 30 minus 1. Then, multiply natin siya ng common difference na 3. Okay? Then, let's simplify this uh, equation. So, S sub 30 is equal to... So, 30 and 2 can be simplified. So, 15... Then, multiply natin si 2 times 4, 8. Then, 30 minus 1 is 29. Then, multiply natin by 3. Okay? So, S sub 30 equals 15. Then, change natin into parenthesis. Okay? Bring down 8. Okay? And, 29 times 3. So, 29 times 3. 9 times 3 is 27. So, bring down 7. Carry 2. 3 times 2 plus 2. So, 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8. So, therefore, we need to combine 8 and 87. So, S sub 30 equals 15 times 8 plus 87 is 96. Okay? Then, last, we have to multiply 96 and 15. So, 6 times 5 is 30. Bring down 0, carry 3. 5 times 9 equals 45, plus 3 equals 48. Then bring down 96, okay? 1 times 6 is 6, and 1 times 9 is 9. So add 0, then 8, 14, then carry 1. All in all, 1,440. So that means the sum of that 30 terms is 1,440, okay? So 4, 7, 10, 10. 13 up to the 30th terms is equal to 1,440. Okay, this video is requested by my students before. So, ngayon, grade 10 na sila. So, hindi ako yung teacher nila. So, shout out sa inyo guys. Hopefully, you have learned something from it. Okay, subscribe and follow for more. Thank you and God bless.